It's time to hop back in our 66 Chevy Suburban and take another Louisiana road trip. Funding for this program was made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Thank you. It's time to hop aboard for another Louisiana adventure. We're heading to North Louisiana and the Eddie Robinson Museum on the campus of Grambling State University. Get a once-in-a-lifetime photography field trip in the bayou with world-renowned nature photographer C.C. Lockwood. Sample some of the best rum in the world at the Bayou Rum Distillery in La Cassine. And catch a safari wagon ride in the largest free-roaming conservation area in North America at the Global Wildlife Center. I'm Charlie Winnem, and you're invited to come along on my Louisiana travels. Funding for this program was made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Thank you. Fans of football and American history will get a kick out of this stop. We're touring the Eddie Robinson Museum at Grambling State University. This building on the campus of Grambling State University houses the story of legendary football coach Eddie Robinson. Coach Robinson put this small North Louisiana community on the map as he put together one of the best college football programs in the nation. He led the Grambling State Tigers for 57 years and won an unprecedented 408 games and sent over 200 players into professional football. Former Grambling baseball coach Wilbert Ellis and Lincoln Parish District Attorney John Belton knew Eddie Robinson well. They played a big role in making this museum a reality. These days, Coach Ellis and John serve as a living history link to the legendary coach. Was Eddie the best coach ever? Yeah, he was the best. He was the best. They got a lot of great coaches. You have to look at Eddie more than just a football coach. Uh, humanitarian. Man that, you know, go beyond the game of football, but he took football to make all these other things work. He was an overcomer. And what did he overcome? Well, let's look at the time that he was born in. And we're talking early 1900s, where Plessy versus Ferguson was the law of the land, separate but equal. Uh, so he was behind, as they say, the eight ball. He had to come from way behind to get to where he ended up. Uh, but he did it not with a stick. He didn't do it with carrying a big stick. He, carried, he did it with carrying a big smile. And it's the first thing you see when you enter the Eddie Robinson Museum, a life-size bronze statue of Coach Rob with that unmistakable winning smile. Eddie loved people, cared about people. I mean, you know, he talked about America. He didn't talk about just one segment of, of our society. He talked about America, that including everybody. And so that's what I want to do as long as I live. And, and I have the opportunity to go many, many places. I'm still spreading the news about Gramlin. 408 victories on the football field, yes, but thousands and thousands of victories off the field. And so when you look at this museum, it houses a, a story of faith, hard work and overcoming, but it also houses a story between he and Mrs. Robinson. You know, he often talked about one wife, one job. <laughs> and um, so that's why Coach Ellis and I and others, uh, the team as I want to say, um, made it a point to make sure we had a Doris Robinson banquet uh, room in the hall uh, in honor of her. Coach Ellis and John lead the way on a brief tour of the museum. The first room highlights the Tigers' football traditions and the hundreds of Robinson-coached athletes that would go on to play professional football. This is where all the football players played in the NFL, over 200 and some players. And to my left over here, the Tiger Marching Band. 
And uh, they all went together, you know. When you talk about the band, you talk about football. Eddie Robinson coached four NFL Hall of Famers, including Willie Davis of the Green Bay Packers, Buck Buchanan of the Kansas City Chiefs, Charlie Joyner of the San Diego Chargers, and Willie Brown of the Oakland Raiders. Four guys in the NFL Hall of Fame. Isn't that something? It's amazing. This yeah. is the wall of fame in here. This is Willie Davis, isn't it? Willie Davis room. Uh, yeah. The Lindsay Foundation donated $150,000 yeah. uh, on his behalf. And so we named this room after Willie Davis. Yeah. Coach Robinson did a very good job in preparing young men uh, to become men and also to become Hall of Fame football players. And inside the museum, you'll also see an exact replica of Coach Rob's home office. Just like it was at his house, it's the same way. His books and everything was there. His chair, the same chair. They did a little something with the desk and all of that. But the arrangement of the books are just like he put it. And over here, you see when the President of the United States of America came, the United States of America came and spoke for our commencement, Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. And uh, Coach is fixing his robe on and all that. He didn't mm -hmm. want anybody else. I was a grand marshal, <laughs> but he didn't want me to fix He said, I want Eddie to fix my robe, you know. Mm -hmm. And you see Coach over there fixing his robe and pinning on. Coach signed the ball for him and all of that. So it was a, it was a great moment. You can also walk through an exact replica of Eddie's office on campus and even step into the Grambling locker room where Coach Rob would diagram his plays to the team. The museum is also interactive. One area allows visitors a spot on the blocking sled or taking a crack at quarterback. And you know, Coach created a lot of great quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So if he was here, he would say, Charlie, here's the ball. <laughs> and uh, what do I got to do, Coach? Throw put it. it in a hole there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh! <laughs> You so it wasn't close. right at the hand. It was right uh, at the hand. I got work on that. Well, when That's he right. turns out of the ball, you got to be there. <laughs> That's you know? right. Yeah, yeah, That's right. Catch That's it. right. Yeah. That was a good talk. Yeah, it was a good one. I think that was good. You, you made the team. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but it was back in 2010 that the real team showed up for the grand opening of the Eddie Robinson Museum. Players spanning six decades marched one block in frigid conditions to take their place at the steps of the new football shrine. My father always liked the saying that dreamers are the saviors of the world. Well, this is certainly a dream come true for the Robinson family. With 408 victories over 57 years, Eddie Robinson's dream was to turn Grambling football into the Notre Dame of historically black colleges. No one disputed the claim, not even the head football coach of Notre Dame. In our profession today, there's so much cynicism. There's so much talk about the next job. All Coach Rob cared about was the next young man. And getting an opportunity to teach and coach and mentor and develop. Eddie Robinson and his Grambling State Tigers devoured opponents over most of the 20th century. And he made a personal commitment that no man would outwork out hustle or out study him in his quest to create one of the greatest football programs ever. I want the guys who play for us to play in the NFL. But now if I were in the science in the sciences, I'd be out there trying to get somebody to help put the man in space. This is what it is. Whatever field you in, you got to work. We was on the grass at 5:30 in the morning. So you can imagine you got a bunch of young guys who try to stay up all night talking to their buddies and you going to bed 12, 1 o'clock at night and you got to be on the football field at 5.30. That's a possibility a lot of people might not wake up. And Coach knew it. So he, I could see him now, hell baby, bang, ding, 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 it's time to go. Hell baby, you be rolling and say, oh man. And you, you know what? You had to get up. Because the old police said you had somebody trying to take your job. He's the one. Uh, he's the guy that that paved the road that we all walk on. And I think that if you're in this profession, you understand the gravity of that. But this museum is extra special to Coach Ellis and John. Just before Coach Robinson passed away, they promised that one day there would be an Eddie Robinson Museum. He asked me one thing, and Coach Ellis was there too. He said, uh, could you promise me that 
it will become a reality, that you will see it to the end. And um, with God's grace and uh, the blessings of uh, the Almighty God and all the volunteers and those who were dedicated and committed to making this happen as a team, we now sit here in the Eddie Robinson Museum. You know, you can think about, about a lot of great people. You can think about um, Gandhi. You can think about uh, Mother Teresa. You can think about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You can think about George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. They still live today. And greatness lives forever. And Coach Robinson is a great man. Um, and I say is because he's still with us. And when he lived here on earth, uh, in, in his body, he was a great man and uh, he still lives on. And so this museum is just an exhibit of those things that he accomplished um, off the field and on the field. Um, but he is still, is still living and will forever live because of his greatness. And that's the end of this road for now. Louisiana has so many great travel destinations to enjoy, so get on out there. And I hope to see you next time on my Louisiana travels. Maybe I'll see you out there. Funding for this program was made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Thank you.